Have you ever had a hard time attracting the right type of customer or buyer into your online business? Listen, I get it, we've been there, and today we're gonna dive into some really practical strategies that'll help you build a community of high quality buyers. What's up, familia? Welcome to another episode of Kim TV. I'm Kim Jimenez, your digital marketing strategist and the founder of The Business Launch, but you probably already knew that. And so welcome to this episode. I'm so excited to dive in and really give you some great strategies around this topic. But hey, if you're new around here, I please, listen, please do me a favor. Two important things. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell. I know every YouTuber says this, but it's for a reason, y'all. So many of you guys watch this, these videos and you don't subscribe. You want to make sure that you don't miss out on the best stuff we have to offer right on the get-go. Plus, we're going to be releasing some pretty epic giveaways for the notification squad. So make sure to subscribe. And then also there's going to be some extra resources linked in the description box below. So make sure to check those out at any time throughout this video. All right, guys, so I don't know about you, but I noticed early on in my business, um, as well as the first business I started with my husband, that not every customer is the ideal customer. You know, feel me? A lot of customers actually cost you more money in the long run than if you never actually had that business to begin with. And you probably already know what I'm talking about if you've been in business for a while. You know, it's that kind of customer that literally hires you and then fights you on every little thing that you want to implement into their business or brand, you know, whatever it is. It's also that customer that nickel and dimes you for every little project. You know, they maybe are super unreliable. They don't follow through. And then to top things off, maybe they even like bad mouth you to other people, which is oftentimes very unfair. So those are the type of people that we want to repel and have move very, very far away from our brands and our business and our community and our ecosystem. Now, on the contrary, we of course want to attract the ideal client. And so that might be different for every single business. In fact, most of the time when I talk to entrepreneurs, one of the first things that you know they tell me about is, hey, how do I get more buyers? How do I attract you know more customers, more clients? The first thing I ask is who's your ideal client, right? Who's that perfect person that you wanna work with? And oftentimes they have to like kind of think about it. They're not sure. And I get it, you know, trying to figure that out can be challenging sometimes. So your first task after you watch this video, start taking notes. First thing I want you to do is write down who your ideal client really is. And of course, if you're a member of the business lounge, we have an entire training on creating your ideal client avatar that can help you get started. But if you're not, I'm going to give you an example of who's my ideal client. And this is across the board for all of our different products and services. Of course, we have avatars for specific products that go more in depth, but overall, this is the general description. Number one, I only want to work with people who understand my value, right? They're ready to receive that know-how, that wisdom, that knowledge, those strategies, and they're going to follow through. So that for me is extremely important. I also want to work with people who are more than willing and able, because these are two very important things, willing and able to pay me what I'm worth. In other words, I don't work with nickel and dimers. It just does not happen. Usually that is the worst kind of customer. So we'll talk about that a little bit later, but just keep that in mind. And number three, I really want to work with people who are going to actually implement what I'm teaching them. And then more importantly, they're going to be generous with their praise when they achieve, when they achieve the results that they want. So that for me is super important. Those three pillars, something that I laid out very early in my business when I started my service-based business, and it's helped to me to consistently up level the quality of customers that we bring into our world. The second thing that's super important to talk about is the fact that you are the type of client that you attract. Meaning, I want you to look at your own purchasing behaviors and remember that this ties in very close to the golden rule, right? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It's biblical, it's a concept, you know, documented back 2000 years ago in Luke 631. And that is such an important and critical mindset shift that we have to make as service providers, 
as product creators, as online course, uh, you know, producers or experts and authors and coaches, we need to understand that if we are being cheapos, we're going to attract cheapo clients, right? If we are not reliable, we're going to attract unreliable clients. If we are, you know, nickel and diming other service providers or other people that we do business with, that's the type of energy that we're going to project. And that's what's going to um, be attracted to us as well you know call it karma or the golden rule it's a basic principle not just of business but of life so i want you to reassess the type of client that you are and then also reassess the type of service provider or product creator that you are are you playing at the level that would attract that ideal client that ideal you know customer that ideal buyer so up leveling your game making sure that you are really focused on self-evaluation and stepping it up is critical so if you're going to attract a higher paying client a client that is a joy to work with that energizes you and that really gets your value you need to use my special formula and that is a b i it means always be improving always be innovating. It starts with you, my friend. You need to step it up, up level your game, make sure that you're constantly improving your skill set, your expertise, your ability to deliver results, your ability to create incredible products that meet the needs of that specific ideal client and customer. So double down on excellence and remember your business is always a reflection of who you are. So make sure that you are constantly working, not just on your mindset, your spirituality, your body, the way that your entire ecosystem works really is a reflection of your business. So that includes health and includes your relationships. Make a really good assessment of every area in your business and make sure you're constantly a B I ing, which is my new term. All right. So let's talk about pricing and why this is so important and so related to having an amazing ideal client community. And the reason for this is oftentimes I see this be an issue with a lot of service providers and a lot of, you know, online business owners is they're trying to pitch and sell to people who just cannot afford their service. Stop trying to do that. It's going to drive you crazy. No matter what you do, if you're selling to people who cannot afford your service, your products, you know, whatever it is that you're creating in the world, you're always going to fight an uphill battle. And last week, I actually told you the story of my brother, um, Brian, who's a brilliant developer via email. So if you're not subscribed to our VIP list, this is why you need to subscribe. Listen, there's so much that I can't put into a video and I send that every single week. So make sure that you are subscribed to our email list because you get access to stories like this one. So back to Brian's story, he's an amazing developer and he was doing really well with his business, but he wanted to take things to the next level and it was constantly hitting, you know, a ceiling with how much he was able to charge. So clients kept telling him no, 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 no. So he came to Chris and I, and we immediately started kind of breaking down his sales process, right? Looked at his proposals, his messaging, made sure that his pitch was on point. Everything looked awesome except for one thing. He was pitching to the wrong people. The minute we started aligning, right, the type of client who was ready and could afford his service to the type of service that he was trying to offer, things started to click and he literally started closing multiple five figure contracts like this. Now I'm not saying that this is like a magical formula, but it is something that is extremely important no matter what type of business you run. So making sure that the people that you're attracting are not people that can't afford your service or are looking for, you know, kind of the freebie, the hack, the discount is when we undercut our own value. And this happens a lot when we don't feel confident about what we're selling. So as much as you possibly can, right, start doing some mindset work around money and your worth and make sure that your worth is aligned to the results that you can offer. So as we talk about pricing, remember that higher prices usually attract higher quality clients. And I've seen this in my business time and time again. Every time we up the prices of our courses, of our membership, we actually up level the type of client and customer that comes into our business and our world. Now, with that also comes matched expectations, right? So the higher the quality of the client, 
the higher the expectation of your service is. That type of client is looking for you to either save them time, save them money, or do some kind of awesome thing for them, right? Whether you're a service provider or a product creator, or maybe you sell information. It's really important that you understand that meeting your client's needs is critical and their expectations if you're going to charge a premium. Next, it's critical to reevaluate your messaging. Are you actually speaking to the people that need your help and have that level of understanding of the value that you have to offer? Sometimes people who are willing to pay more for a specific product or service, right, are a little bit more advanced, right? They kind of understand the value because they've been in that space for a while. Maybe they have more experience. Maybe they're a little bit more mature of a, a customer or a consumer. And so you want to make sure that your messaging is directed at those people. Otherwise, you're going to start attracting the wrong kind of buyer. Definitely something to keep in mind as you are positioning yourself in the marketplace, right? It's really important to understand where you sit in the marketplace and then position yourself accordingly through a marketing message that is clear. And that all that means is really how you present your business and the type of copy that you have both on your website, on your sales page and your marketing materials. It has to be cohesive and has to speak to that ideal client. And last but not least, it's reassess your content strategy. And again, kind of implementing all these principles that we've learned, I want you to really look at the assets that you have and how you are creating content right now, right? Are you being consistent on that platform? If you're not, then that's not really a reflection of the type of client you want to attract. You want to attract someone that's consistent, both in how they show up for your product and service and also how they pay you, right? Really important. You also want to make sure that again, your messaging is aligned. You don't want to be speaking to people who can't afford your service or maybe are too much of newbies to purchase your product. You want to talk to people who are a little bit more mature, who understand the value of your specific product or service and just get it right. Sometimes making subtle tweaks, you know, talking about more advanced topics topics or just really diving into specific niches can make a big difference for attracting the right audience. Remember, you need to have a ton of commitment when it comes to building your platform and attracting the right kind of buyer. This is not something that will happen overnight, but I'm telling you it's one of the biggest, most impactful investments that you can make, especially if you're just getting started. Double down on your generosity. The level of content that you deliver to your audience will definitely attract a specific type of customer, a specific type of buyer. So make sure that you are up leveling your game when it comes to content creation, that you're sticking to a consistent schedule, that you're really delivering when it comes down to just showering them with value and that your price point match the level of generosity that you share with your entire community. Remember, this entire ecosystem is a two-way street. You want to make sure that you are delivering as much value as possible, and I guarantee you that you are going to be attracting clients that are just not just the right fit, but will blow your mind at how amazing they are to work with. I can tell you right now, none of the opportunities that I've had in my career would have happened if I wouldn't have been totally committed to offering free, valuable content on this channel, on the blog, on our podcast, on our social media channels. That alone has helped me grow my business significantly at every stage, right? Like from starting from zero in the service-based in industry to like moving into consulting to having my own, you know, brand brand of products and services to having a membership site and just being full time here on the online space. It's been an amazing journey and none of it would have happened if I wouldn't have been consistent and generous with what I had to share. So listen, don't go anywhere because now it's your turn. I would love to hear from you which one of these strategies or tips resonated with you. What are some of the things that you're doing to make sure you're attracting the right audience? Our community has a ton of really good insight to share, so I would love it if you would share it with everyone in the comment section below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. This is our business building series. This is episode, I believe, number five. So make sure that you catch the rest of the business building series if you haven't already. We're talking about starting the right online business, making sure that you are attracting the right client, um, or making sure that you know where to find ideal clients, build your portfolio, all that good stuff. 
of. So you're going to catch the links to that below. And of course, don't forget if you're a service provider and you want first dibs on our brand new course specifically for service providers who are either freelancing or getting ready to launch their business. It's all about how to get your first couple clients in 30 days or less. So I highly, highly recommend that you sign up for the early bird list. You're going to get exclusive access plus some serious discounts and bonuses that you don't want to miss out on. Link is in the description box below. And of course, subscribe, please, pretty please. I know you watch these videos and you're not subscribed. So make sure to subscribe, okay? Because like, it makes a huge difference for our channel and it helps us get discovered by other people. So if this is something that you enjoyed, share it with a friend. We love welcoming new, amazing people to our community. And yeah, I will catch you in the next episode. I'm all about business building as well. Don't forget, by the way, to let me know what topic you'd like to see next because this is really important. I pulled you guys on Instagram and here on the channel as well and you spoke up and that's why we delivered this episode. So tell me what you want next. Love to hear from you as well. Bye for now.